All right, so this is the first uh, grocery haul of the month and it's enormous. So I, this is April. Technically I shopped two days before April just because tomorrow there's supposed to be somewhat of a big snowstorm. I don't know. And then I also just wanted to get it over with. So tomorrow there's supposed to snow and then the next day is Saturday and I'm not going to Costco on a Saturday. Just not gonna do it. Just won't do it. So I went to Costco. I went to three stores. I went to Costco. I went to a Kroger affiliate, which is Smith's. It's called Smith's, but it's, an, it's a Kroger affiliate store. And then I went to Walmart. So let's go through everything really quick and I'll tell you what my total was at the end. Before we start on the food though, I need to turn on the light in my kitchen. But before we start on the food, I wanted to show you, I got some dog food. <laughs> so we still have this full of dog food and this one, and then we have another one of these. It's probably about halfway full in our room that we use to dump the dog food into, but we got another one just so we made sure we had enough for the rest of the month. And then, we're gonna go through everything I got at Costco first and I'll put totals at the top, like on the screen. I'll put totals on the screen of how much I spent at each store. So everything before the soda is all from Costco. So we're gonna start there and then we're gonna go to the other two stores. And I feel like I got some really, really, really good deals today. So I'm really excited. All right, so we're gonna start over here. Um, right here, this is one of my favorite things at Costco, and I wouldn't say that it has the very best ingredients, but it has decent ingredients, and I like them. They taste similar to Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, which is always a plus. <laughs> so we've got the Just Bear chicken nuggets, lightly breaded chicken chunks, whatever you want to call them, and yeah, those are delicious. We got some heavy whipping cream. I usually buy it at Walmart, but it was about the same price. And I was like, I bet the Dairy Gold's even better, so <laughs> might as well try that. And then some sour cream, just for lots of recipes, you know, and deliciousness. Sour cream is delicious. Sometimes I add it to my, like, my eggs in the morning and it makes them very creamy and delicious. Some cream cheese. I wasn't planning on buying cream cheese today, but, <sighs> I kind of wanted to buy some cream cheese and I was like, you know, this is the best price I've seen in a while. I think it was $8 for three pounds, which hopefully that's a good deal. It's six eight ounce bars. I think that's a good deal. That seems like a decent deal to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not that great, <laughs> but I got it. Um, some cheddar cheese. I just buy a block of this every time I go to Costco. I don't buy more than that because... <sighs> We don't go through this kind of cheese that quickly, but I do like it. I do buy the shredded cheese and stuff too, but I bought that last month and we still have about a whole, we have about half of the shredded cheese from Costco, so I don't need to get more. Got some bacon, just this four pound pack of bacon, some butter, four pounds of butter, um, baking crumbles. Back here, I got a 10 pound bag of golden potatoes. I was gonna get russet potatoes at Walmart, but I love golden potatoes more and it was like $2 more for that bag. So I was like, okay, I'll splurge a smidge. And then I got some ketchup. We were completely out of ketchup. Dan and Devin love ketchup. So hence the three things of ketchup right there. Some soy sauce. I made some Korean um, ground beef last night. It was actually really good. So maybe I'll have to show that in a in a video at some point, but I Was almost out of soy sauce and it made me really sad because I love soy sauce <laughs> Um, so I grabbed another thing of soy sauce at Costco. I just have a smaller bottle of soy sauce that I like dump this into so that it's easier to navigate. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, I got some jumbo corn dogs for Devin lunch and just easy lunches for Dan. They're delicious. Go try them. I don't know. Some people hate corn dogs. Some people think it's really gross, but I love corn dogs. <laughs> so hence that. Um, 
yeah, anyway, uh, then I got some extra large bags. I buy this like once a year, maybe, maybe. And even then, <laughs> like, I think it was like a year and a half ago that I bought one of those bags, one of those boxes. I don't know. I probably filmed it. So who knows? But it lasts forever. And even if it is once every nine months or so, that's still great. It's like $20 for all the bags you need in your life. Much better than getting them at Walmart. The Dawn Power Wash was on a good sale today, so I wasn't planning to buy it, but I bought it because I'm almost out of mine. Technically, I like to buy the apple scent, but this was too good of a deal to pass up. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> for three refills technically like it has one spray and then two refills but even for three refills it's like fifteen dollars anywhere else so this was only like eight dollars and i was like yes please give me the deals and then i bought one of these bags of carrots last month and it lasted i still have some in my fridge but there's only like four carrots so i was like i'm gonna grab another one of those that was great they're delicious I bought this three pound bag of grapes and I'm really hoping they're good. They're, they seem crispy and crunchy. So that's, I mean, grapes are delicious and I love them and I have to have them in my life. So, oh, I forgot to turn on the light one second. Let's see, is this even better? I don't know. It changes the lighting a little bit, but you could still see before, right? Tell me in the comments below. I got some strawberries. These were $5 for two pounds. I thought that was decent. I already talked about the butter. I think I mentioned the bacon crumbles. I got two bunches of bananas. They kind of got a little squished in the car, but there's only so much you can do about that. Some toilet paper. I, yeah. You never know when you're gonna need 30 rolls of toilet paper. We still have like four of the packages, the single six things of, pa like, I don't know. <laughs> it comes with like five packages of six. We still have four of those. And so I didn't necessarily need to get toilet paper today, but I like to make sure that we have enough. And I, if I buy one of these a month, it usually lasts us and then extra is never a bad thing. So we're doing good right now. And then I got these finish quantum Powerball things. I don't normally buy this at Costco. Normally I buy it at Walmart or the Kroger store, but, but yeah, these are awesome. And it was a very good deal. I can't remember the exact price, but it was like half the price of the normal. And then it comes with even more than what I, anyway, what I get when I, buy them because I buy them. I buy them in this package and they're awesome. I love them, but this is like $22. So this is a much better deal. So, you know, anyway, and then I got a rotisserie chicken because you can't go to Costco without getting a rotisserie chicken. This is dinner tonight. <laughs> so that is my Costco haul. And this is how much I spent at Costco is right up here somewhere. Um, just ignore the soda. I know I'm naughty. Anyway, let's go to Smith's and this is where Smith's ends. So it starts with the soda, which I don't normally buy soda like this. Okay. This was a splurge. <laughs> this was something I will not buy again for a long time. This should last me. Like I buy, I love diet Coke and Devin likes Dr. Pepper. And so this should last us a good two months if not more so i'm like okay we just drink them sparingly but they were four for 15 which is like three dollars and something cents a package and normally this is like eight dollars for one of these so i was like okay this will last us a long time i won't need to drive through mcdonald's ever which is what i do most of the time is i drive through mcdonald's and i'll get a drink but it's fine Hopefully this will last us a good amount of time. This says it expires on May 22nd though. So I guess I better start drinking. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, they'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. And then I got some ranch. It was just the best price. They had it on sale there. And that's why I went to this store actually is for all the things I was able to get on sale. 
The only thing I, I didn't buy on sale was the lemons and it was just because they had a bag of lemons instead of having to buy them separate at Walmart. Still cheaper to buy them in a bag. Anyway, so I got some lemons. We'll, we'll keep going. I did get some chicken thighs. I know you can't see it through the bags. I have these like the neat bags on there so that it wouldn't leak. Um, I got this package of, how many is there? About five and a half pounds for $5.45. So they were 99 cents a pound for chicken thighs. Best deal I've seen in a minute. So I bought a package of them. I didn't need a lot. I have some in my freezer that we need to use still, but I just was like, okay, this should last us for a couple weeks at least. I got some small things of milk. Normally I'll buy a gallon, you know, I'll buy two gallons of milk, but it was cheaper to buy it this way, so I did it that way. Dan talked me into this. It was literally a dollar. It was on sale, so I bought it. And he's like, please mom, can I have the orange one? And I was like, I'm such a sucker. <laughs> I'm a sucker for my three-year-old, but it's not something I buy like ever. So it was like, okay, we can do that. You and dad can share that as a fun treat. And then they had asparagus for a dollar a pound or 99 cents a pound. So I grabbed that. This was $2. So lemons. Okay. That's everything that I got here. And this is how much I spent at Smith's, which I think is an amazing deal to be honest. Like I, they, they uh, always tell you how much you save at the end and I saved as much as I spent. So it was like $35 and I saved like 33.50 or something like that. I was like, what? That's awesome. Okay, over here is everything I got from Walmart. So we'll go through this really quickly. Yeah, so I kind of splurged a little bit here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, I didn't like splurge, it's all things that are like great and like I like it's things we'll use and it'll make me not have to go to the store for a minute which is nice but yeah let's go through it really quick so two things of beef broth I like to make um, beef stew but I also like to make um, roast beef and use beef broth and like a bunch of other things I'm making a pork chili that uses beef broth you know just lots of delicious recipes with beef broth. So I grabbed two of those. It's the 48 ounce ones and they're like $2 each. So easy. It's so delicious too. And then I got two cans of corn because I'm making that pork chili again. And I got two cans of beans. I already have two cans in my pantry. So I wanted to get two different other kinds of beans. I think I have kidney and maybe I already had black beans. No, I had kidney and great northern beans, I think, in my pantry. So two more cans of beans to add to that. Some French style green beans because you can't have enough veggies in your life. I just add these to meals to kind of just add something. Usually I'll do like a meat dish and then I'll add like a veggie on the side just as if you want that. If you want to eat it, you can. You don't have to. Um, yellow mustard. We were, my mustard was uh, expired. I did a fridge clean out video recently. Like I did like, it was like a garbage day video, but I cleaned out my fridge and I realized that my mustard expired in like September. So it is now, what what month is it? April? I just said it was April, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I need to get, I needed to get a new mustard. I mean, it's like a dollar. Why don't I just replenish it quicker? I don't know. Um, plain breadcrumbs for a couple of recipes. I buy this like once a month, maybe, maybe twice a month if I make a lot of recipes with that, but I don't make a lot of recipes with a lot of breadcrumbs. So I'm like, you know, it'll work out for what we need. Usually I'll just do it for like meatballs or meatloaf. And I use maybe a cup at a time at the most. Anyway, I got some hot dogs. <laughs> uh, we like hot dogs in this house. It makes lunches and things easy sometimes and just, you know, makes life easy. Some sugar-free cookies. These have aspartame in them, which I am trying to shift away from a lot. Like, I'm trying to get things that are sweetened more with like stevia and things, but sometimes you just gotta have a treat and these are really good. So <laughs> I got some. And then I got these, which are, they're called Bake Believe 
and sometimes I'll buy the Lily's brand, but this was cheaper, so I was like, well, I'm gonna try it. They are baking chips, so like chocolate chips, but without sugar, and we'll have to see if they're any good. I don't know, we'll find out. Some Parmesan for a recipe to do with the chicken. I was gonna try and get some chicken at Smith's, but the, the chicken breast that they had on sale was all gone, so I went for this. <laughs> This is, it was a cheaper price than the other stuff that, that wasn't on sale at Smith's. So I grabbed this and this should last us the whole month, hopefully. But yeah, five pounds is like $15. Just kill me now. It's crazy. Chicken went way up. It used to be like, what was it? Like $10? I don't remember. It was really cheap to get a 10 pound bag. Maybe it was $15 for the 10 pound bag. I feel like that's about what it used to be and now it's $15 for the 5 pound bag. I can't even. Guys, it's crazy. Um, I got this Oikos Triple Zero yogurt and I'm really hoping. I didn't check the dates. I should have checked the dates because this, this package looks a little worse for wear. May 10th. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I like this kind. It's, it tastes really good. It's, I, it makes me sad that it has no fat, but it's okay. There's just, sometimes you need it. And sometimes I'll whip up some like heavy cream and I'll mix it together with the yogurt. So that's adding quite a bit of fat. So that's good. I did get a package of eggs. This will last us a minute. And then over here is all my veggies and fruits and things. And then a couple things at the end there that are exciting. Some celery, onions, a very whiny dog. Roxy, what are you whining about? Should I let you out? What are you doing, huh? Are you being picked on? Yeah. Were you picked on? All right, <laughs> some onions, some apples, just a bag of apples, and then some tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, or like a salad mix, yummy. And then we'll speed through these. Sweet peas, just one bag of sweet peas for Dan, mostly. Uh, two bags of mixed veggies. I use these in like a stir fry, or a, not a stir fry, a fried rice. It's very good in fried rice. Two things of cut green beans, two things of broccoli florets, and I usually just get them at, I get the frozen veggies at Walmart because you can get the different kinds, and they're the cheapest price. So that's why I get them there. And then over here, sorry about the glare, like there's a window right in front of this part of the counter, it's just the way it is. Um, over here, I got a few things for Easter. I got these Cadbury mini, mini eggs. I don't normally buy things with sugar, but when I do, it's for like a fun treat every once in a while. So I'll probably eat a couple of those. I'm not gonna get into them a ton, but a little bit maybe here and there because they are like my favorite. I think they're delicious. I also need to stop at the Dollar Tree and get stuff for Dan's Easter basket. I did get a couple things. I got this little tiny motorcycle. It's so cute. Dan was, Dan thought it was cute, but I said that the Easter Bunny has to get it for him. And then a little gold car for him as well. So he should be excited about that. It's a 84 Corvette, so Devin would be jealous. <laughs> I don't know. I think Devin would like a Corvette. I don't really know. And then I grabbed this egg coloring kit. We can just throw that together for one day as a fun activity. 98 cents, come on. And I've definitely got enough eggs, so. <laughs> We will definitely be coloring some eggs and that will be really fun. But this is everything I got at Walmart. If you can see, starting there and over. And that is this price right here in front of the window. Let me hold you up above it maybe. But yeah, so that's how much I spent at Walmart. And I definitely got a good amount of food for how much I spent, I think. But now it's time to put it all away and 
time to cry a little bit because I have to do all these grocery I have to prep all these veggies and fruits and make dinner <laughs> but it feels really good so yep hopefully the next few hauls are just very little because I don't have much money left in my budget because of all of this but I figured a lot of this will last until the end of the month So I ran to the store today because I needed a few things and I ended up picking up a couple extras, but it's things that'll last to the end of the month. I grabbed this, this bag of potatoes. We have been eating way too many potatoes lately and I'm not sad about it, but these are just russet potatoes and um, this was $4. I stopped at Winco, which is like a wholesale, I think a wholesale store and it's not, I don't know, it's it's kind of different. I really like Winco. Um, it's a, I'm not sure where Winco's are located, but here in Utah we have them. And I grabbed this $4 10 pound bag of russet potatoes I was very excited about. <laughs> Cause it's, it's like $5 at Walmart. So I saved a whole dollar. And then I grabbed some bananas cause Never have enough bananas in this house. I grabbed two bunches of bananas at Costco a week ago and they're gone. So, yep. <laughs> and then we also had grapes and we ate all the grapes too. So I grabbed some grapes as well and I'm very excited. They seem pretty crispy. So, crunchy grapes are the best. And then I found these two pears. I don't even know what kind of pears they are, but Danju pears. I don't know how to say that, but <laughs> they seem good. They're, they're, they're not super ripe, 
but they looked good and hopefully they'll ripen up and be delicious. I grabbed a bag of salad just for some dinners, some coleslaw, this Simply Fruit Smuckers brand. I like this kind. It's made from real fruit and it's sweetened with the ingredients. It's like it's sweetened with fruit syrup, which probably isn't like the best thing, but it's I would say it's just I don't know, it's slightly better probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It looks delicious and I really like it. So I keep buying it. I haven't tried the red raspberry one. I had the apricot one and it was very, very good. I did buy a frozen pizza. It's just nice to have this kind of stuff for when I'm not feeling good or I can't get up and make dinner that Devin can throw this in the oven and we can still have something decent for dinner. I mean, decent is something that <laughs> it's very subjective but you know a pizza it's 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 okay every once in a while and then I grabbed this thing of turkey steaks there's nine of them it was about twenty dollars for all this but these are really good and I figured it would last us about three meals maybe yeah probably about three meals and just add them to meals or have them be separate meals but these are very good. You just fry them in butter or stick them in the oven and then top them with butter or some kind of gravy and it's really delicious. So would recommend. These are from the C&B Maddox, which is like a restaurant near us. They have very good stuff. So I, I definitely like these and I'm gonna throw these in my freezer so that we can have them for later. I did grab a thing of sweet corn. I love white corn. And I don't buy this very often, but when I do, I get pretty excited about it. So I'll probably split that into like two separate meals because that's a lot of corn for one meal. I grabbed these Hot Pockets for Devin for lunch. So normally Hot, pocket, hot Pockets are $3 for two, but these were only $2 a package and it's the same price for the Walmart brand. And the last time I went to Walmart, they didn't have these or they didn't have the Walmart brand even, and I buy them for Devin to take for lunches. He'll just take a package and eat both of them. And that will be nice for him to have in the freezer. I grabbed two steak and cheddar, and then a meatballs and mozzarella, and a sausage and pepperoni cheese pizza thing. <laughs> so those are for him. Grabbed some oven roasted turkey breast. I've just learned that the Lando Frost is like the best deal, and I like the flavor the best. So that's the one I go for. Um, some turkey breast and some black forest ham, just a pound of each. That should last us to the end of the month. And then two things of ma macaroni and cheese for easy lunches every once in a while. I don't eat a lot of carbs, but sometimes we eat those. <laughs> so sometimes you just gotta have easy things and that's kind of what this all is is like easy stuff like these are really easy anyway and then i got some goldfish and that should last us a minute this is my total for today and hopefully i don't go over budget because i probably will i normally do and i am just trying to get the hang of a food budget right now and so this is what i spent today at winco all right so this is the next grocery haul that i've done um eggs went up crazy amount it was like 17 almost 18 dollars for this thing of eggs but i was like i need eggs i'm gonna buy them and cry about it later <laughs> and then i got two gallons of milk so that was you know not too bad they're under three dollars each so that's doing doing better um dan wanted something snacky so i did buy this little itty bitty itty bitty mini pretzels and dan wants some more now he's been snacking on them while watching mickey mouse can i have some more sure give me your container what do you say say thank you so I got these mini pretzels for him. Nice to have some snacks around. Some corn, corn tortilla chips. I was looking around to see some 
that just weren't fried in terrible oils. I don't know what rice bran oil is, but I wanted to try it. <laughs> so it seemed okay, but I, I'm going to look into rice bran oil and see what that is. It wasn't canola and it wasn't vegetable, so I felt better about it. But who really knows? Because don't know what that is. I grabbed a... Um, a loaf of bread for Devin and Dan, just for meals and things. It makes life easy sometimes to have a loaf of bread. And then I grabbed two bunches of bananas. Two bunches of bananas. It just works out for our family. And then I grabbed two pounds of strawberries. Just, yep, that's it. And I'm sure that this was much more expensive than it should have been, but that's pretty normal. So this is how much I spent today on groceries. I did by other things, but this is how much I spent on just groceries today. All right, so I went to the store today and I picked up a couple things. This is just 18 eggs. I just wanted to get a little bit to tide us over to the end of the month, so that was great. Some bananas, I mean, have I gone to the store once and not gotten bananas? I don't think so. <laughs> and I got some oranges, because Dan was really begging for oranges and I was like, okay. We were completely out of fruit, so that's kind of what I went in for, and milk and eggs, and that's all I got, so I felt pretty good about it. I got some Granny Smith apples, some strawberries. These are probably my favorite treat right now, is just strawberries. I could sit and eat them all day long, and so it's something that I can handle. Bananas, I shouldn't eat as much, but I love them, so I do. <laughs> eggs are a big thing. We have a lot of meat and a lot of... Um, we have some veggies and we have some, um, we had some milk, but I, this was on sale for $1.29 per half gallon. So I grabbed three of those and that's all I did. That's all I got today. This is my total for the day. And yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of the month. I don't know how much I'll have to get before the end of the month. So getting close. All right. So this is the last grocery haul for the month. It will be because it is the 26th, so there shouldn't be anything I need. But I did grab a couple other things, but I'm not including that in the price. So I'm going to start right here. This is just the produce that I grabbed. I grabbed some romaine lettuce because I wanted to do taco salad something. I don't know. I just felt like it was good to have. I, I, I don't really make salad very often, but... It did sound good, so I was like, okay, we'll do some romaine lettuce. And Dan and I are just barely getting over a cold. Um, we're not, like, sick anymore. We just got, the, like, the leftover cough, you know, so it's always fun. Um, so that's why my voice sounds a little, just a little sad right now, but that's okay. I grabbed some bananas like I normally do. We're completely out. Me and Dan eat them like crazy. It's ridiculous. Uh, two aroma tomatoes, a cucumber, and an avocado, all for the taco salad. It's funny because Devin doesn't like any of those things, but I thought it would be good. However, I am now realizing that I don't think I have ranch. <laughs> I might have to make some or figure something out there. Um, I meant to grab some at the store, but I guess that's just not in the cards. I grabbed some strawberries and some green grapes. They just looked so good. They were not on sale, but they looked so good. And I think I'm just craving fruits really bad right now. And that one looked delicious, and I was not leaving the store without them. Um, and then... I just grabbed a dozen eggs. They're like $3 for a dozen right now, which isn't terrible. So I grabbed one dozen and just, we have enough, I think, to last to the end of the month, but I just, just in case I don't go shopping at the first of the month next month, then I'll have some eggs to tide me over. And now I'm really thinking that Devin might need to go get some ranch at the store on his way home. I might text him. Um, and then I got some of these Oikos Triple Zero, these yogurts. They're just little yogurt cups. I did grab a block of Colby Jack cheese so that we could make sandwiches or whatever we decide. Um, I like to do like crackers and cheese and lunch meat. However, I'm pretty sure we're out of all of those things except the cheese now. So 
might need to get lunch meat at my next grocery haul, but we use cheese for a lot of things. We'll use these on the taco bowls as well. I got some barbecue sauce. This is not sugar-free. Obviously, this is the Buffalo Wild Wings one, but I want to make ribs, and I have not been able to find a good barbecue sauce recipe that is, or even a barbecue sauce that you can buy that is sugar-free. I just, I just kind of let myself have sugar for barbecue sauce when it's on top of things. I try not to like dip and add extra, but you know, this one sounded really good for ribs. So I was like, okay, well, let's do that. I mean, if I'm eating ribs, it's pretty okay to have a little bit of bad stuff. I think, I think it's fine. And then I did grab this for an easy meal. If I feel like making something really easy, this is just the slow cooked pork carnitas and you just throw this in the microwave and it's so good. I was thinking maybe even using this instead for the taco bowls instead of using like ground beef, but I haven't decided yet. I don't know. Something. Taco salad with carnitas meat would be good, I think. And then I did grab a couple jello puddings, sugar-free jello puddings. These are just nice to have as a snack sometimes. They're not like the best ingredients. It has aspartame. I'm not completely against aspartame. I drink Diet Coke, so, you know, it's just, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and this helps me get through the day sometimes, and that's all that you can do. I did grab a bag of these chocolate chips. I really like them. They're stevia sweetened as well. They do have erythritol, um, but they have pretty good ingredients, and they're... In a minute, okay? And they do, um, they're a little bit cheaper than the Lily's brand. I just got the semi-sweet so I can make some desserts. There's a couple desserts that I want to make, including these brownies. I did buy them once. They're not the most inexpensive thing in the world, but they're pretty decent. Devin and I made them once, but I think we mixed them up a little too much. And so they just got a little too cakey. So I want to try them again but as like more fudgy so I'm gonna make sure I don't over mix the batter. I did grab some monk fruit blend. This has the erythritol in it as well which I didn't know erythritol was actually made with um what's it called with corn so I thought that was interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. I, correct me if I'm wrong I heard that one time from somewhere on the internet but I did hear that so there you go. I grabbed this keto friendly, delightful white bread from Sara Lee. This is about $3 for a loaf, which isn't terrible for keto bread. And I like it decently. It's not like the most amazing bread in the world because it is like keto friendly. It's, you know, keto stuff isn't always my favorite baked keto stuff. There are some bread recipes that I want to try. I found a new YouTube channel. It's called Keto Zerts, like desserts, but Keto Zerts, and I'm gonna try it. I have a few recipes that I want to try on there, so maybe we'll do one of those in a future video. And then I did get this Best Foods olive oil mayonnaise. I haven't tried the Best Foods one, but I usually get the olive oil. It does contain canola oil and soybean oil and all that crap, but the it, olive oil comes before the other crappy oils, so it makes me feel a little bit better about it. And you know, sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of the bad stuff every once in a while. And you can't be perfect at everything, but this is everything I got. This is how much I spent on all of this today, which, you know, it's just a lot, <laughs> but it's okay. Food is not cheap and eating slightly better with the ingredients that I use, like monk fruit, that was like $10 to get that one thing of monk fruit. So it'll last me a long time, or at least it should, but yeah. I don't know. Anyway. All right. This is the very last grocery thing that I had to go and get. So I'm making some breadsticks tonight and I needed Parmesan and butter because I'm completely out. Today's the 28th, so I really didn't have to get very much. Um, like I said before, I needed to get ranch. I was completely out of ranch and we use that like crazy. So this is literally the last thing I will be buying 
I did get a couple personal watermelons. They were just on sale for $1.49 or something per each one, so I wanted to grab a couple of those. Dan always asks for watermelons, and we love you personal watermelons. Hands. You washed your hands? Good job. So I can have a watermelon. Yep, I'm gonna cut it up in just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. And then I grabbed some butter. I grabbed these sugar-free chocolate chips. I did just buy some sugar-free chocolate chips, but I wanted to try these ones. They were a little bit cheaper than the ones I buy. I don't know if the ingredients are quite as good, but I know that my sister, who has a bakery and she does some keto, um, like sugar-free chocolate chip cookies, and she uses these ones. So I thought I'd try them and see if I like them. I have tasted one and it tasted like a chocolate chip, so you know, it's not too bad. And then just some Parmesan cheese for the bread and for, you know, baking and whatnot, but for the breadsticks that I'm making today. Anyway, so that's it. This is how much I spent on all of this. The butter is always crazy. It's like a four fifty for a thing of butter, which is why I like to buy it at Costco, but that wasn't in the cards today. I needed butter today. So, yep, that's all I got. And hopefully my voice will come back soon. That would be great. This cough is just lingering. And, yeah, so let's get into all the totals of everything that I bought this month. So I always feel like I overspend on groceries, but it also, like, we use them. So it's hard to say like I overspend when we actually end up using them so I think it's more like I need to make sure that we have enough in the budget for what we are using and I do like to try and make sure that my um, groceries are pretty wholesome I mean they're not perfect I am not perfect in any sense of the word but I do like to make sure that they have um, some good ingredients and I do like kind of do keto but not and it's more like I'm just trying to do wholesome ingredients and more um, proteins and less carbs but that doesn't always work out especially with how many bananas we ate this month I, I was a little floored with how many bananas I purchased and we ate them all and I was not sad about it but it also is like wow that's a lot of bananas um that's a lot of sugar because bananas do have quite a bit of sugar but you know I'd much rather give Dan a banana than have him have a snack full of other carbs and sugar and he it's better to have a banana than a than a cupcake or whatever, you know, so it was just good to be able to have some fresh fruit, some fresh vegetables and things like I got a lot of fresh fruit throughout the month and it just never was a bad thing to do that. So for the entire month of April, we spent $612.51 on groceries and that felt like a lot for three people, but it also was just like, you know, we used it and it's it's hard to not be able to justify that you know if we ate it and we used it and we were able to eat healthy and feel better and I'm pregnant so it's like hard to say no to things sometimes but I mean there are things that I could do to cut back I just I don't know if I necessarily want to do that all the time just with everything that we are trying to do health wise and yeah and the baby's coming soon like really soon like two weeks soon and so it's just hasn't been a priority to, to only save money with groceries so that's kind of where I'm at but I hope you enjoyed this video and I love you guys and I will see you in the next one thanks for hanging out with me bye